So in the last lecture, uh, we have discussed about the weighted resistor D to A converter. The drawbacks of uh, this weighted resistor D to A converter is uh, we require a wide range of uh, resistors. For example, for a 8 bit uh, DAC, the uh, highest resistor to lowest resistor ratio is 128. So, because of that actually uh, the resistor accuracy is going to affect the overall accuracy of the DAC. And sometimes uh, it becomes difficult to fabricate the high values of the resistor in IC form also. Okay. To avoid this uh, difficulty, so we have the second type of uh, D to A converter which is called as R to R ladder type DAC. As the name implies R to R ladder DAC, this consists of uh, only two resistors R and 2R. So, if we take the circuit diagram of this uh, R to R ladder DAC, there is a current to voltage converter similar to the weighted resistor type. This is feedback resistor, we will choose this is equal to twice R, so that all the resistors will be either R to R. This is R, this is 2R, this is R, this is 2R, like that it will continue. And at the end we have 2R resistor. This is LSB, a D, N. This is D1, MSB. This is D2, D3 and so on. So, you can see that uh, overall we will be having two different resistors R and 2R only. And this also will give the same expression as that of uh, weighted resistor D2 a network where uh, V0 is equal to V full scale into D1 into 2 raised to the power of minus 1 plus D2 into 2 raised to the power of minus 2 so on up to. So, now to uh, obtain this uh, expression for the output V0, I will consider a 3 bit uh, R to R ladder DAC. This will be S2 R.
this is minus v r and here we have resistor then current to voltage converter now what will be expression for v naught for different uh, combinations of this uh, d1 d2 and d3 this is d1 msb this is d2 d3 lsb let us consider first d1 d2 d3 is equal to 1 0 0 here if uh, this d value is 1 means it will be connected to minus vr otherwise it will be connected to the ground so in 1 0 0 what will be the position d1 is connected to minus vr d2 d3 will be grounded so what will be the equivalent circuit the equivalent circuit will be this LSB D3 will be connected to the ground D2 is also grounded. D1 is connected to minus Vr. And then we have R. Feedback RF is equal to twice R. R R R is to R to R. So, what will be expression for the output of this circuit? So, this type of uh, circuits we analyzed in the previous uh, lectures also. Okay. So, first uh, if I find out the voltage here, if I call this as node C, node B, node A. So, the output voltage V0 is given by if Vc is the voltage at uh, Vc, voltage at node C, Vc into the remaining this circuit is inverting amplifier with a gain of minus 2R by R. So, this is equal to minus twice Vc. If I find out the Vc, then you simply multiply with minus 2 to get the output voltage V0. Now, what is the expression for Vc? So, we can see that uh, these two will be in parallel. So, what will be equivalent resistance 2 R in parallel with 2 R? Means 2 R into 2 R by 2 R plus 2 R is equal to R itself. Now, including here up to here, what will be this resistance? equivalent resistance including this R also. From here to here this is R and this is another R, these two are in series. So, up to here this will be 2 R. Again if you include this 2 R, this 2 R and this 2 R will be in parallel. So, up to here if I include, if I see the resistance looking into this B, this will be again 2 R in parallel with 2 R which is R. If I look into here, after this R, R plus R to R. Now, this will be equivalent to this entire resistance is to R, this is C point, this is R, this is to R, and this is also virtual ground. So, we can call this also at 
ground only this is c point so to the left side of this c point total resistance is to r right side this is r because between this point and ground we have two r between this point and ground we have r so this is again equivalent to 2r this is minus vr this is 2r in parallel with r this is minus vr this is 2r this is c point this is equal to 2r into r by 2r plus r 3r this is two third R. So what is voltage divider formula now? This is equal to minus two R. You are taking after two R, you are taking this voltage is VC, and below this up to ground, you have got two third R. So according to voltage divider, VC is equal to minus Vr times 2 by 3 R divided by 2 by 3 R plus 2 R. This is equal to denominator is 8 R, 3 3 get cancelled. So, minus Vr into 2 R divided by 8 R. Therefore, V naught becomes minus twice V C. So, minus into minus becomes plus. So, you will get V R by 2. If V R is equal to V full scale, then this is equal to V full scale by 2. So, what is the general expression for this uh, V naught of a 3 bit uh, weighted resistor R to R circuit? I have taken this one as V naught is equal to V full scale into D1 to raise to the power of minus 1, D2 to raise to the power of minus 2, D3 to raise to the power of minus 3. The same expression is valid here also. So, the expression that we have derived for the weighted resistor is equal to Vfs times D1 to raise to the power of minus 1 plus D2 to raise to the power of minus 2 plus D3 to raise to the power of minus 3. So, in this case for D1, D2, D3 is equal to 1, 0, 0. So, this is 0, this is 0, this is 1. So, this will be equal to Vfs into 1 into 2 raised to the power of minus 1 which is Vfs by 2. So, the same expression we have got here Vfs by 2. Similarly, uh, we can take for the other possibility of D1, D2, D3 which is somewhat uh, complicated than this, then we can generalize the expression as V naught is equal to Vfs times D1 to raise to the power of minus 1 plus D2 to raise to the power of minus 2 plus D3 to raise to the power of minus 3. I will take the another case of 0, 0, 1. The equivalent circuit will be This is 2R grounded. This is LSB. LSB is 1. So, this will be connected to minus VR. The remaining 2 bits will be connected to logic 0. Means grounded. This is also grounded. This is also grounded. And here we have this resistor and inverting amplifier. This 
Now, what is the expression for V naught of this circuit? So, this can be equivalently written as this V R 2 R if I take to this side minus V R this 2 R this branch I have taken here then this 2 R is between this point and the ground. So, this 2 R is between this point and the ground this is this 2 R and after that the circuit is R 2 R grounded R 2 R grounded then R 2 inverting amplifier. Here also you call this one as node A, node B, node C. If you find out the node C voltage, then you have seen that output V naught is equal to minus 2R by R times node C voltage which is equal to minus twice Vc. Now to first find out Vc. So what is Va, what is Vb and what is Vc? We will go in a step by step manner. So, first I will find out V A. So, in order to find out V A, what will be the overall resistance? This also will act as a ground point. This R and this 2 R, if I call this equivalent resistance from here to here as R 1 say, including this R 1 up to here, if I call this as R 2. If I consider up to this 2R including this 2R as R3 including this R if we call as R4. Including this 2R also if I call as R5. Then you can find out Va using voltage divider again you can apply another voltage divider to find out Vb another voltage divider formula to find out the Vc. Now what are the expressions for R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5? R1 simply R and 2R will be in parallel R in parallel with 2R which is equal to R into 2R by R plus 2R means 3R this is equal to 2 third R then R2 will be R1 plus R this R1 plus this R is R2 R1 plus R that is equal to 2 third R plus R 5 by 3 R then R3 will be R2 up to here in parallel with this R2. This is equal to R2 in parallel with 2R. This is equal to R2 into 2R divided by R2 plus 2R. But R2 is 5 by 3R. 5 by 3R into 2R divided by 5 by 3 R plus 2 R. So, this 3, 3 get cancelled, 3 into 2 is 6 plus 5 by 11 and this R, this R, this R will get cancelled. So, we will get in the numerator 10 divided by denominator is 11 R and R4 is you have to add R up to here this is R3 and if I add this R also then this will be R4. R4 is equal to R3 plus R which is equal to 10 by 11 R plus R 21 by 11 R and R5 will be finally R4 in parallel with 
to R. So this field comes to R4 is 21 by 11 R Twenty one by eleven R into two R divided by twenty one by eleven R plus two R. So if I take eleven as LCM, eleven eleven get cancelled. Eleven into two is twenty two plus uh, twenty one is forty three. The denominator numerator is forty two. Is twenty one into two. And this R R get cancelled. So 42 by 43 R. Now this can be written equivalently as minus V R is this. This is 2 R. This is C point and overall resistance here will be total is R 5 which is equal to 42 by 43 R. Therefore, according to the voltage uh, divider formula, what is Vc minus Vr into voltage across C means 42 by 43 R divided by total resistance which is 42 by 43 R plus 2 R. So, 43, 43 will get cancelled. 43 into 2 plus 42 is how much? 43 into 2 is 86 plus 42, 128 is the denominator. This R, R, R get cancelled. Numerator is 42 minus VR times 42 by 128. Or this is equal to minus VR times 21 by 64. This is Vc and what about V0 minus twice Vc? So therefore V0 is equal to minus 2 times 21 by 64 Vr. This is equal to minus 21 by 32 Vr. So the voltage at this point will be minus 21 by 32 Vr. This is node A. At node B what is the voltage? Similarly node C what is the voltage? So I will redraw here so that overwriting can be avoided. So the voltage at this point you have derived as this is node A, this is minus Vr, this is 2R, this is 2R, This is B, this is C. I have obtained only VA, not VC. This is R5. Then what is the voltage here? That is VA. This is minus VR, 2R. This is at node A. The overall resistance is R5, which is equal to 42 by 43 R. This is node A. And this is 2 R, this is minus Vr. Then what is VA? Minus Vr 
voltage divider into 42 by 43 R divided by 42 by 43 R plus 2 R. This will be in the denominator 42 plus uh, 86 which is equal to 128 RR get cancelled 43 43 get cancelled. So, we will get this is equal to minus VR times 42 divided by 128 or this is equal to 21 divided by 64 minus VR. This is VA. The voltage here is 20 minus 21 by 32 VR. So, in order to find out voltage at B and C, I will redraw this circuit. This is VA, we have got this VA as minus 21 by 64 VR. Now, this is VA. I have to find out the voltage here. So, VA is the voltage here now. This is across this resistor R and this is B and the voltage here is say VB. This is B point and this is A point. And what is the overall resistance from here to ground? Is the resistance up to this 2R. So, you see nothing but up to this TR is this R3 which is equal to 10 by 11 R. Now, again voltage divider what is VB is equal to VA into 10 by 11 R divided by 10 by 11 R plus R because up to here we have called this one as R3 in the previous diagram this is R3 and then this R and here this is VA this is VB we have to find out VB in terms of VA. So, from here to here this is R3 and this is R between R and R3 this voltage will be divided. So, this is equal to so 11 11 and R R get cancelled we will get 10 by 21 into V A, but what is V A? 10 by 21 into V A we have derived as minus 21 by 64 V R. So, this 21 21 get cancelled, we will get 5 by 32 V R. So, the voltage here will be minus 5 by 32 V R. Similarly, how to find out the voltage here? If I know this voltage, then output voltage is equal to minus 2 times Vc. So, in order to find out voltage at Vc, now Vb will be the input across the voltage divider. This is R. So, from here to here, what is the resistance? Which is nothing but R to parallel with 2R. Which is nothing but R1 only. R1 is 2 third R. So, what is Vc according to the voltage divider again? Vb into we are taking across 2 third r. So, 2 third r divided by 2 third r plus r. So, this r 3 3 get cancelled. So, we will get uh, 2 by 5. This is equal to Vb times 2 by 5. But what is Vb from here? This is equal to minus 5 by 32 Vr into 2 by 5. So, 5 5 get cancelled this will be 16 we will get this one as minus V R by 16. But what is V naught as we have derived earlier twice V C. Therefore, V naught is equal to minus minus becomes plus V R by 8. If V R is V full scale V full scale by 8. This is for D1, D2, D3 is equal to 0, 0, 1. 
this is also satisfying that expression which we have derived in the weighted resistor as V0 is equal to Vfs into D1 2 raised to the power of minus 1 plus D2 2 raised to the power of minus 2 plus D3 2 raised to the power of minus 3. So, in this case D3 is 1 remaining 2 are zeros. this is 0, this is 0, this is 1. So, we will get this one as Vfs into 2 raised to the power of minus 3 which is Vfs by 8. So, similarly for all other combinations also you can derive this expression. So, here for this R to R ladder type of circuit, you will get the expression for V naught as Vfs times d1 into 2 raised to the power of minus 1 plus d2 into 2 raised to the power of minus 2 plus d3 into 2 raised to the power of minus 3 which is same as the weighted resistor R to R weighted resistor D2 a converter output. So, both are giving the same outputs, but the advantage of this R to R later DSC is here we require only two different resistors. So, we can have here good accuracy. Still, there is some drawback of uh, this type of R to R later DSC also. So, the drawback of this R to R later DSC is here the currents through this resistors varies with the D1 to Dn combination. So, as a result of that the power dissipation also will increase as power dissipation is basically depends upon the, the change in the current due to the change in the current wherever the change in current is there you will get more the power dissipation because this current changes with the combination of this D1, D2, D3 so on. Okay. So, the current also changes. So, due to the current change you will get a power dissipation and uh, due to power dissipation heat will be generated that will causes the non-linearity in the output of the R to R ladder DAC. To avoid this we will use inverted R to R ladder DAC that we will discuss in the next lecture. Thank you. Mm -hmm.